Please state your name and age. <clears throat> My name is Debbie Smith and I'm 24 years old. Please state your name and age. My name's Sean, I'm 29 and I live in Southsea. Please state your name and age. Martha Johnson, uh, 25. Please state your name and age. Um, my name's Graham and I'm, I'm 64 years old. My name is Rebecca Eyre, I'm 26 years old and this experiment is to look into the psychological effects after playing with a Ouija board. Okay, so I'd like to begin by removing all external variables. So if you could please give me your phones and I'll put them to one side. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, now we're going to light the candles to try and create a suitable ambience. Uh, I'm not sure what effect this will have, but worth giving everything a go. Okay, if you just like to pass that round and do the others for me, thank you. We will now begin the Ouija board session. Is there anybody there? Oh my God. <laughs> How many spirits are with us? Tell us a bit about yourself. Um, what like? where you work, family, why you wanted to take part in this experiment. Okay, um, well I work at a local grocer's, um, been married for a couple of years now and um, I thought it might be good escapism, something a bit different. <laughs> I'm uh, currently working at Warmside Home Improvements, not to brag, but I'm the best sales agent there at the moment. Um, currently living with my girlfriend Lacey in sunny Southsea. Um, signed up for this because I thought it would be a laugh, and if we see a demon, even better. I'm self-employed. I make little dolls like this, which seem to sell well. And I got involved in this experiment because it's not just a belief, I actually dedicate my life to this, so. And I was hoping this would get me out of the house more. I was a carpenter, but I'm retired now. Happily retired, yeah. Okay, so now I'd like each of you to ask a question, starting with you, Debbie. How many spirits are there? Can you point to the number of spirits that are with us? Are you a good or an evil spirit? Oh my god. W. Mm. I. We'll see. <laughs> Are you a demon? Uh, goodbye. <gasps> Shit, did I fuck it up? Um, I don't know. Yo, so here we are. Is this thing on? Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... We've been there, we've done the, uh, 
I mean, I'm, I'm calling it a seance, they call it an experiment, but for the next 30 days, we're going to be filming everything that goes on in this apartment to see if we can catch some kind of like, I don't know, like ghostly or otherworldly experience. So here we are, let's start with the tour. Here is the bathroom, nice and cosy, and then let's move out here into the hallway. So here we are in our nice little studio by the seaside. So behind me is the kitchen area, as you can see. Nice little functional kitchen area in our studio. And then we've also got the computer just behind me there. And then the TV over there as well, because you know, you gotta relax and have fun sometimes. And then behind me here is our nice little bed as well. So all pretty compact, you know, you can see it's, uh, it's pretty tight, but it's a nice place to be. Anyway. For now, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, because I'm craving one. But uh, yeah, for the next 30 days, you're going to be seeing a lot of me and Lacey. And hopefully, we can catch some crazy shit on camera for you. Catch you next time. So the wedding's at um, 1 p.m., yeah? Uh-huh. You're not filming me, are you? No. <laughs> Don't be so paranoid. Oh. Okay, um, okay, right. I think I've got a few outfits in mind. Oh, I really hope that we don't see your sister, though, to be honest, because I don't think I can handle much more baby talk. Okay. What about this? What do you think? Hmm. Nice. Yeah. LBD. Yeah, I like it. I think you might have to go with that one. Yeah. You are filming me. <gasps> no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're filming me. I'm slightly not at all. Have to stop doing at it. all. Not even slightly. Stop it. Please stop. Hmm? <laughs> Turn it slightly away. How about that? Bit shit. Nothing's happened yet. Yeah. But like, what did you expect to happen? Demon. Right. Just demon. Yeah, you know, demon. You know, big old demon dick, like Satan's cock. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> big most metal experiment ever. Who have you been hanging out with? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been watching more like? Uh... Yeah, I thought it was Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what would you do? What, like, possess, possess, like, mm. 360 head spin vomit and shit? Yes. What would you do? Uh, I'd leave you to clean it up. <laughs> well, doesn't make a difference then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, like, really, what would you do? See? The camera's your friend. <laughs> oh, you're such a creeper. Why are you still <laughs> filming me? Because we have to film everything. Well, we're just, we're just in bed. Like, I don't think they're going to like just seeing this. This is not fun. Well, they <laughs> said every little thing. Right, okay. Well, in case there's ghosts. Oh, it's a little they're just going to be chilling here with us, are they? <laughs> well, a little bit more complicated yeah. than that, but... I don't think so. No? But, okay, fine. If, have you caught anything now? Have you caught anything yet? Only from you. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> watch out for the camera. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, university. You don't want you to like miss out on anything. Well, yeah, you mean you know what the camera really wants to see? What? Something. Oh. Like okay. This. I really don't think they're gonna want to see that. I'm afraid. Well, I don't know. I might spice things up a bit. Well, none of that's gonna happen on camera anyway, so you might wanna. Consider what you're doing. Hmm. Just I'll get back to my book then. <laughs> if you're just gonna film me this whole time. Sorry, university.
watched some of the phone footage back last night. And I'm telling you, something happened. Now, I, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't me. It wasn't her. But that duvet moved. I can't talk too long. She's in the bathroom. Oh, I think she's coming. <clears throat> oh, my God. What? Look at this. What is that? Are you seeing this? It's, I think it's a bruise. Oh my god, okay. Okay, let's get a close-up on this for the, the university Oh, people. stop it. You think it's supernatural? It could be. Stupid. Oh, come on. Like it's like, it's like a burn or something. It does look... Yeah. It doesn't really like hurt, though. Is it? Is it hot to the touch? No. No? Okay. <laughs> no. Well, you're not coming down with something, then. No. Oh my god. Weird. Right, okay. Have we, have, we got, have we got that on, on camera for the... For the people at the place? For the university? You seen Ooh. this? You seen this? How am I going to go to work? Well, luckily, I have four fingers and not three, so you know it's not me. I don't care if it's you or not. Like, Actually, do you know what? If it is you, at least I can tell people that like, you hit me more than I hit you. I'm gonna do a special performance for you. Fall down. Oh, deaf, I can't do this in front of people. Okay. How would Bob Marley do this? Okay. A ring. A ring. A ring, a ring of roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, they all are fall down. Let's sing as we're entertaining the masses with the, the horrors. Let's do it a bit to spooky. Okay. <laughs> a ring, a ring. Full of posies, a tissue, a tissue. They all so here we are. Um, I've been called back from work early. Uh, by Lacey because she heard a big bang noise and it's scary um, I haven't heard anything since I've been here yet but thought we'd get the camera out just to document it um, as you can see no levitating beds so that's all good uh, no kind of poltergeisty cupboard doors opening or closing how long are we going to do this for? about another two weeks you said you were cool with this. I don't want to do this anymore. Why? I really don't. Are you that scared? I don't want to be here anymore on my own. Babe, look, it's going to be okay. Like... Really fucking scary. You weren't there. But I tell you what, you know what? It's on there. Yeah? Yeah. Watch it back if you don't believe me. No, 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 no. It's okay. I, I believe you. Hold on.
What's wrong? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Lace. Lace it. Sleep here. <laughs> hey, Lace. Wait, we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. It'll be, it'll be okay. Okay, so can you just show me your ankle quick, please? Is this sore? Mm. Okay, so you can see all around here, there's like really, really bad bruising and marks. And goes all the way around the ankle as well. Um, babe, can you show me your arm? It's still there, right? So the arm, you see, and it's really, really sore on top as well. And then, can you uh, can you show me your neck? Yeah, that's the worst one. It is really, really, really red. It's almost like burnt. So, we've got the ankle, the arm, and the neck. Yeah. Right. <coughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call the lady at the university. Hello. All right. It's um it's Sean from the Ouija experiment. Oh hi Sean. How's it going? Um, yeah, yeah, it's all right. But um, I think we're gonna have to call it quits. Well, yeah, it's, it's it's been affecting my girlfriend. Well, affecting her how? Sleep. Um, bites on her. Um, I, I don't really know how to explain it. It's it's visible. Uh, but she's been getting nightly visitors. Visitors. Ah. Uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> I'll I'll send you over the footage. You can judge for yourself. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, well, there is only ten days left. Do you think you could hold out another ten days? I mean, I could come and visit and make it clear to her, but it's all psychological. Um. I'll try my best. Sure. Yeah. Nothing's happened to you? No. But has anything happened to anyone else? I can't really tell you that. Okay, well, um... <coughs> I'll, um, I'll speak to her and see how she feels about it. Thank you, Sean. Thanks. Bye.
and welcome back to the best boyfriend in the world show. It's me, Sean, and we're here in the kitchen area. So, as you can see, we've got some lovely chilli going on here. We've got three different kinds of beans and two different kinds of meat. Lacey's absolute favourite, because she's a baby. Oh, I think that may be her now. I've cleaned the place, so we should be onto a roll, and I've uh, called the lady. So, well, hello. How are you doing? You okay? Hey, yeah, good. Welcome home. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just telling the camera how amazing life I've been because oh, I'm cooking you. your dinner. Are you really? Yeah, I missed you too. Two seconds. Yeah, no worries. How's mum? Dinner, dinner is your favourite. Three yeah. different kinds of beans, two different kinds of meat in a chili. Amazing. <laughs> oh. So how's mum? You're clean. Yeah. Wow. A little bit. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. thank you. I told you, you're the best boyfriend in the world. Yes, you are. Yeah. Mm. So speaking of which. Yeah. How is everything? What did they say? Okay, so I called them up, like I said I would. Yeah. And uh, she then turned around and said, um, you know, are we sure we can finish? You know, it's only 10 days left. Um, I told her what happened to you. Right. And um, she said that she wanted to come around and have a chat, actually. Okay. Um, and, like, make sure, like, you're okay. Kind of, like, you know, nice. make sure you're okay, like, psychologically and everything as well. Like, what? Yeah, right? <laughs> what do they so, mean? Um, I don't know, but she then... Is it crazy? Uh, well, I don't know. I think they just wanted to to make sure. I guess some people have... That's weird. ...reported different things. But, uh, yeah. And then she went back to the, like, oh, you know, it's only ten days left kind of thing. But... Oh. What? So it's not... That doesn't sound like it's cancelled. Oh, no, it is. It is. It definitely is. Yeah. Uh... No, seriously, right? No. So she said about the ten days... And I said, no, we're good, we're done, we're out. Fuck the ten days. We have to be. Yeah. Because I can't, I can't do this. I know, I know. Don't worry, it's good. We're out, we're done, we're gone. Oh, please. Really? We're fine. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. Oh. Uh, yeah. You don't understand, it's such a relief, like, really. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, I just want to be, like, here, home, you know, with you. Yeah. And just, like... Oh. Just chill, relax. Yeah. <laughs> and just have fun again. Mm. Like, I'm going to go have a shower. Oh, okay and, then. Um, then maybe we can celebrate. And well, we do have the camera for one night only. That we do. But it's just how a bribe. crazy idea. How about we lose the camera and just have like a night just me and you? Hmm. Maybe just yeah. Yeah. have maybe. a room. Me and you time because it's been a little while, and I'm well, I... feeling pretty good. So yeah, mm, be an awful waste otherwise, don't you think? Yeah, well, I think it would be a, a waste if we I know. if we didn't get it on some kind of. So I'm gonna go get ready for a shower, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I'll put the camera away. We wouldn't want to get it ruined. And <laughs> she didn't say turn it off. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know? It's been a little while. It has. So I feel that me and you needed like some personal time. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. I fucking knew it. <sighs> Lacey? Lacey! Lacey! Oh, no. 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 Oh,
My name is Martha. I am participating in the Ouija board experiment for Portsmouth University. And I'm doing this because I am a practicing Wiccan. Okay, so these are my candles. They are supposed to create a mystical and magical atmosphere during rituals. The red one, uh, it's the color of fire and passion. It represents blood, love, sex, fertility and power. And it instills energy and strength. The yellow one you use for confidence and charm, persuasion, mental strength. It stimulates your personal power and self-esteem. And finally, the black one. Now, this absorbs all energies. It's often used to absorb or banish negativity, and it reverses curses and hexes. You can use it for protection, banishing, repelling black magic. Um, now, this is actually my pentacle and my other tools, which sit on top of my altar. Um, so earlier today, I did the Ouija board experiment, but I'm not expecting for anything to happen. Yet. Now, to put my protection spells to rest, I call these walls to be unblessed. Let the sacred circle break and seize and open doors to all that please. Nothing happened last night. Kind of disappointed. No dreams, no voices, no marks. But I guess these things take time. on me. Well, you better not piss me off then. So, what did it feel like? What, putting my hand on a bit of wood with some strangers? No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> well, has anything happened yet? No, nothing. Not yet, anyway. Kind of sounds like you want something to happen. Mm. Have you ever wanted to stare into the darkness. Is this about Robin? No. God, no, I'm just tired of this positive shit. I just want to see something that's real. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. It's been four days and nothing's happened. I'm going to try reaching out again. Come, shadows, now I call on thee. Come, if thee be friend or fiend. Allow me now to be your vessel and guide me to your earthly treasure. So after watching the footage back, I know after seeing this, right there, that I'm on the right track.
This happened exactly after I cut my finger on the book. Coincidence? I don't think so. Name him Robin. What, like Robin Hood? No, I meant just Robin. I know what you mean. So, when was the last time you got out of here? I've been to the shops. It's not exactly getting out, is it? You need to get out there, socialise more, meet people. Whatever happened to that Wiccans group you were going to? Hmm. I know they were weird, but um, <laughs> at least they were people. You should go out with me this weekend. this weekend I mean I love Karen but I've got work to do she buys me a pet and then wants me to go out more now I've got to look after this It's kind of cute though. Oh spirits come, I beckon you. Come until the morning light. Come before the night is due. Come and show me what is right. So, as you've seen, the experiment failed. So I decided to go out with Karen, and now I'm hungover to... I'm gonna hit the books and work this out. So, after doing a lot of research, I finally found it. It turns out the blood has to be unwillingly given. I don't know why I didn't think of this. It just makes so much sense. It just... <sighs> Sorry, buddy. It's gotta be done.
something actually happened. Like, I felt, I physically felt it. It was at the back of my neck, like a... I know the camera didn't pick this up, but I had a vision. Lots of strange images. I need to work it all out. But two words came to me, like, very clearly, more blood. Right. Neighbor's cat always comes into my garden. I've already put a little ball of fish out there. And I've got this bad boy to catch him with. So it should be okay. cage door open. Well, where did he go? Just like... I just found him in the garden. I think the neighbor's cat must have got to him. Oh, Han, I'm so sorry. Let me just put this down. That must have brought up a lot for you. I never should have stressed that name. Can you just leave now, please? You don't need to be alone right now. Yes, I really do. Is that blood? Yes, from when I cut myself. It's everywhere. Just, oh my just God. leave it. It's gonna stain. Let it stain. Get the fuck out. Has nothing happened yet. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong now because it asks for more blood, I give it blood, and do you think it fucking responds? No! You fucking mocking me! You just want me to become fucking pathetic and stupid like Robin! <sighs> Great. You want my blood? Well, I'll get you more blood, but not mine. Fuck. Hello? Hi. Look, I'm I'm sorry too. Okay. I was really stressed the other day and no, you're right. You were right. You know, I uh, need to get out more and move on. So, I'm free if you want to come around tonight. About eight-ish. Cool. Okay, I'll see you then. Cheers. Apologies, okay? I brought brownies. Oh, thank you. Do you want tea or something stronger? Always something stronger. Wine? Um, yes. Rosé? <laughs> I knew that was the reason why I loved you. Oh! Are you trying to get me? 
me drunk. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice you to a demon. <laughs> Ooh, she's a witch! Bana! Bana! <laughs> Aww. Hmm. We haven't laughed like this since Robin. Vendo sentiro un parafano ne murto mudindo porto reverando sentido martero son fu ande verindiso vicissimo bur muerto per tur granda se bendita mortento sentir a veces manda o contigo Is this what Robin would have wanted? What did you say? Don't you dare mention his name! He's a fucking coward! He just killed himself because he wasn't strong enough! But not me! I'm stronger than that! Hello Jenny. Can you hear me okay? Yeah Dad, it sounds fine. Is Bobby about? No, you've just missed him actually. He's gone out with friends for the day. What about little Lucy? She's at college, Dad. Right, well, okay. Well, how's my favourite daughter? Yeah, I'm fine. You've just been really busy. Oh, aren't we all? Non-stop here. Did I tell you about that university experiment? Yeah, you did mention that. How did it go? Well, it hasn't really started yet. No bumps in the night. <laughs> okay, Dad. Well, I'll come round when things have calmed down a bit. Oh, no rush, Jenny. I'm not going anywhere just yet. <laughs> okay, Dad. Listen, I'm getting another Skype call through and it's a work thing. I'm going to have to take it. I'm sorry. No, don't apologise. It's all right. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Could you make it after six? No problem. You best get back to work. Love you. Love you too, Dad. Now, this is my flat. Not much to look at, really. There's a lovely telly, a bit too big for the room. And this is my family. <laughs> my grandson, Robbie. <laughs> he hasn't been little for a long time now. And there's the love of my life, Diane. She passed away last year. God, I miss her. too sure what I should be filming actually. Now according to those videos online, when you're asleep is the best time for ghoulies. So I'll just leave the camera running and check in the morning. Night night. happened last night mustn't be a sort of immediate type of thing shame really sort of pretty lonely around here oh hi Rebecca <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to call in and say it's all going well so far. Uh, nothing major's happened really, but uh, I've been filming non-stop as you asked. That's great. Uh, these things take time though, so just keep filming and uh, keep logging. Yeah, will do. Um, how are the others getting along? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, you're the first person to be in touch. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Well, I'd best leave it to you then. Uh, you must be very busy. Oh, it's okay. Um, just keep filming and I'll be in okay. touch soon. Okay, Rebecca. Well, you have a lovely day now. Okay, yeah. Take care, love. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, bye-bye. 
Well, you wouldn't believe it. I saw this frame move just an inch. I think I'll set up a camera watch on it. If I've learned anything from watching those videos online, patience is everything. Come on, Diane. Do it for the camera. Well, I've been down the charity shop and, um, ha -ha. look what I got. Dead cheap. Absolutely brilliant. So now, I know, I know it breaks the rules, but I'm going to try and get in touch with, uh, with Diane. So, here goes. The Ouija board has been evil since 1973. Why 1973? That's the year The Exorcist was released into theatres, raising the horror genre to a new level and would forever demonise this once effective communication device. That movie changed horror forever, and even today many are unable to watch it. This makes it easy to see why all of those based on a true story events would be feared. What caused the demon to possess Regan in the movie? The dreaded Ouija board did. Wow! Is there anybody there? Is there anybody there? Hmm. Yeah. What if the planchette is unresponsive? Oh no, the session is failing because the planchette is slow or not moving at all. H E L L O Hello G R A H A Graham. L. O. O. K. Look. B. E. H I N D behind T H E the B O O K C A S E Look behind the bookcase. Diane managed to find our dad's war medals. He did our country proud, did our dad. Hey dad, everything okay? Everything's fantastic, Jenny. Oh? Now don't get cross. I just decided to carry on the experiment at home. 
What do you mean? Well, I bought my own board. Board? Oh, isn't that a children's toy? Children's toy? <laughs> I spoke to your mother last night. Just don't get carried away with that thing, Dad. It happened, love. I'll send you over the footage if I can work it out. No, Dad, just stop, OK? Is this what the university wants you to do? I haven't really checked. I can't see it being a major problem, though. Just be careful, OK? I know what you're like. Oh? And what am I like? Just remember, it's not real. I've got to go, but I'll call you tomorrow. We need to discuss Lucy's birthday. OK, love. Speak to you tomorrow. How is Jenny? Oh, she's all right, love. Yeah, oh, you should see the children. They're really growing up fast. Absolutely fantastic. What's it like out there? Lonely? Oh, well, it shouldn't be. You got Uncle Rich out there. He was always good for a laugh, wasn't he? <laughs> I said I'd call you later. What's this video you've sent me? I needed your help. Your mother was trying to contact me. I told you not to get carried away with that thing. I'm not. I've got other videos of proof that she's trying to contact me. Are you sure that's what they are? Jenny, don't be condescending with me. I'm still your father. You may not want to understand this, but and at least respect it. OK, Dad. If I'm honest, it doesn't really look like anything. It just looks like that piece of wood spinning or being blown from an open window or something. Anyway, while I've got you, what did you get Lucy for her birthday and what time do you want me to pick you up? Sorry, love. I'll put some money in a card. She'll probably prefer that anyway. Can you pick me up at three? OK, Dad, that's fine. Please don't mention any of this to her, or anyone. OK. It is her birthday. I wouldn't want to distract from that. Thank you. Join you? Hello, love. Did we plan to chat today? No, I really needed to talk to you. Is everything okay? Why is Lucy asking me if Grandmother's okay? Maybe she's just not used to me being happy again. Or maybe it's because you told her that Mum is still here with you and you've been contacting her through a game. Well, she's a big girl. She's got nothing to worry about. I don't think you understand. Remember what we said to you before you moved in there? That you'll try and support me as much as possible. I, I've always appreciated that. Well, we can't do it anymore. What do you mean? Money's been tight and we can't afford to help you live there. But we've arranged something for you. I just think it's for the best. She said you'd do this. Mum. She warned me. Dad, you're losing it. This is the best thing for you. Spending time alone talking to Mum, it's just crazy, can't you see that? Oh, I can't. She's the only thing that makes any sense to me now. Dad, please, I love you. Can't you see that's why I'm doing this? I'm sorry, but I've got to go. Diane, it's me. I'm wearing the suit I wore on our wedding day. Yeah, 
you were right about Jenny. Don't be. She's got no respect for me. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, I miss you too, but it won't be long. Just let me uh, take my medication. And uh, I'll just grab a glass of water. Chin chin. It won't be long now, love. Yeah. Oh, I love you too. Love you. distracting from cooking and cleaning.
This is something that happens on a regular basis. Sadly, not anything paranormal. <laughs> this just happened. Literally just flew off the side. Spooky. So it was in pieces all over the floor. So I ran to get the. You just dropped it, you clumsy cow. No, it flew off the side. Did you get it on camera? Well, no, it happened before. I had to. Then, it. how is me or anyone else supposed to believe you? Well, I guess. Maybe you're right. One fucking plate smashes and you think it's fucking Casper. The fuck you know? Where did that come from? I don't know. I was filming you. Was that. Are you playing games? No. What the fuck? Don't fucking play games with me! I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Give me that phone. So after Henry finished with me, something kind of weird happened. I couldn't film it, it happened way too quick, like the plate, but I heard someone whisper to me and it said, everything's going to be okay. I wonder how the others are getting on. Look. I do love this place. <laughs> Even in the rain. <laughs> it again in here Keep the I'll keep the camera with me and hopefully I will catch something if and when it happens. Do you have to film me every time I'm eating? Please, like, it's easier for me to talk to you than the phone. Fine, what did it say? Well... It was like a whisper. I couldn't really tell. Then why the fuck are you even telling me about it? It's probably just the wind. Yeah, you're probably right. Just like the plate. Well, the plate was the wind. I watched the footage and it wasn't a ghost. Mm. Paul's coming over tonight to watch the footage, so go and smarten yourself up, alright? Oh. Is he? Okay. Mm. I told you last week. Sorry. No, it must have slipped my mind. Well, a lot of things have slipped in your mind lately, aren't they? I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm so ditzy. Mm. It's this video project that's taken over. Well, it's only for a few more weeks. Mm. Thank fuck. Can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, Pooh. You're such a nut. <laughs> Please be careful, Henry. Why am I getting a lot? Anyway, come sit down. Sit back properly. Scared of me or something. <laughs> oh, it was that. Right. So, uh, Henry was saying that you're in an experiment? Yeah. Well, tell Paul all about it. Well, it's complicated. No, it's not. She's been communicating with dead people. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking mental. What? Like a Ouija board or something? No, not like a Ouija board. It's not. It's exactly a Ouija board. And now she freaks out at everything that happens in the house. It's fucking hilarious. What have you seen, Debs? It's Debbie. Wait, don't be rude. He was asking you a question. Sorry. Um, no, I haven't seen anything yet. Well, I'd be totally mad if you did actually see something. Anyway, I'm going to go take a slash. Grab me another one of these on the way back. still filming me because you're beautiful thanks Paul's taking his sweet time you having a shit mate or a wank Tricky door. You saw it. It wouldn't let me leave. It would. The door wouldn't let you leave. No. The. I don't, mate. Just forget it. I'm gonna go. Then what are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Uh, I'll see you at work tomorrow. What the fuck? What the fuck is he talking about? Door. What's he talking about? What's going on? Henry, what's happening in there? Oh. Henry. What's happening in there? Absolutely fucking nothing. How can you fucking blame me for what happened to his stupid friend? I'm sick of this. Every time something goes wrong, I get the fucking blame. to appease spirits because I've been thinking maybe this isn't a bad thing you know maybe it's not like an evil monster maybe it's I don't know like an angel I know it must sound stupid but I kind of feel safer when it's here so I did my reading and I've got some candles and I don't know it could work I thought you'd be back later. The car wouldn't start. Have you made a fucking shrine for these spirits? Do you believe me now then? Don't fucking answer back. Why have you made a shrine after what happened to Paul last night? What the fuck? You try to keep them happy. Happy? We want to get rid of them. <laughs> well, we could call an exorcist. Don't fucking laugh. It's not funny. This is your fault, you know. Can't blame me for this. Oh, yeah? No! Well... <laughs> Okay, so, after Henry attacked me, 
something crazy happened. It's definitely an angel. Fucking help me! Stop filming then! No, listen Henry, I'm, I'm really worried, I just... I need to get the evidence. First thing in the morning, we're calling a fucking Ghostbuster or something. I don't think we need to do that, Henry. Look, I've seen enough horror films, alright, to know that this shit just doesn't end, alright? Why don't I let you do this? I still don't, but I'm not taking any chances. Uh, how much have you been filming anyway? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Well, I've, been, I've only been filming when something strange happens. Really? I feel like I deserve better. I don't know. I just, yeah, I just want to feel loved. I don't want to be afraid anymore. I don't want to be afraid anymore. My name is Debbie Smith and I've been a victim of domestic violence for the last five years. I don't know how it started or when it landed, but I can't do this anymore. I need help. Everything's going to be fine. I know it is. What happened today then? Nothing much really. Nothing? Nothing weird, strange? Just all normal, was it? Yes. I'm sure it'll be fine tonight. Do you think so? Because I don't. Try have a look at what you've been filming. I don't think you need to do that. Why? Something you don't want me to see? No, not at all. But I just think that you should rest more. Yeah? Don't worry about me and the silly video. Look, how about I get you another beer? Or maybe a new tattoo? No, it's just some grease. Okay, 
Something strange just happened. I can't fully explain it, but there was something standing above Henry. It was, it was like this big black mass. I mean, Henry was rolling back and forth, looked like he was in pain, but I mean, I'm fine. I don't know whether I should be worried about that. Turn that fucking camera off! days left of your little project, isn't there? So I thought I'd uh, see if I could help you get some footage. Oh, well thanks I suppose. Mm. Sit down, I want to show you something. My name is Debbie Smith and I've been a victim of domestic violence for the last five years. Henry, please, can we turn this off? I don't know how can it started this, or when it planned. Henry. I can't do this anymore. I need help. Henry, please, just let me explain, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Are you going to show that to the police, were you? Oh, help me, help me. My husband's so abusive. Oh, he beats me up. Oh, he's so no, nasty. I wouldn't do that, that to you, Henry. Victim. I wouldn't do that to you. What have you done? 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 My name is Debbie Smith. And I've been a victim of domestic violence for the last five years. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Rebecca Eyre. I'm 25 years old and I'm currently studying for my Masters in Psychology. For my final project, I am going to conduct an experiment into the effects of participants who have taken part in a Ouija board session. I have chosen five different participants from very different backgrounds in the hope that the ramifications can be associated with post-traumatic stress disorder. Do I believe in ghosts? Demons? Gods? No. But I do know what it's like to come from a family that deeply believes and to dictate their own moral attitudes due to what a higher being says. I've arranged for each of the participants to have access to a camera and they will document the month following the Ouija session. I will also be one of those participants. Ages, sexes. 
Good. It started then. Yeah, well, why else would I be filming right now? Ah, well, you know, try and keep the uh, camera on the experiment, eh, darling? Mm, well, you never know what the camera might see. <laughs> exactly, exactly, quite. Anyway, you'll have plenty of time with the camera tomorrow, because I've got to see David. And Fiona? Yes, and Fiona. She still hate me? I'm afraid so, yes. <laughs> well, I guess I deserve it. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to freshen up. I have a good feeling about your current work. Really? I can see you passing. <laughs> oh wow, a pass, just what I've always wanted. Oh, sarcasm. I think you've a lot of vulnerable people here who'll deliver on what you want. It's an eclectic list of misfits. Well, I wouldn't say misfits. But you can pretty much guarantee a response from them. Well, that's why I chose them. You're a little genius. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be there. <sighs> no, Timothy won't be there. You made it quite clear last time. <sighs> Look, Mum, I don't have the time or the energy to argue with you right now, okay? I just... I just want to say goodbye to Dad. Um, uh, no, no need to pick me up. Uh, Tim said he'll... He'll give me a lift, he's happy to. Say one thing nice about him, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, okay, bye. Have a good have a good day. Uh, something that I'm yet to admit. Um, so my father recently passed away. Um, I don't think it will affect the experiment, but I just feel that I should be honest about it. Uh, I've just spoken to some of the participants and it seems we're off to a really positive start. I really didn't expect them to start hallucinating so quickly. I have to say, I. I've been tempted to use the Ouija board to contact my dad. <laughs> but in doing that, I'd be my own patsy, right? <laughs> so, would you say it's been a success? Would you? <laughs> well, from what you've talked to me about so far, only the two most vulnerable people are really reacting. Exactly. <laughs> Then, bravo! Mm. <laughs> Are you really going to be filming everything? Well, not everything. <laughs> yes, I mean, but I really don't think we should be filming everything, should we? <laughs> you didn't mind at the start. I know, but I've, uh, I've had a change of heart. I think it'd just be a bit more, less sensible. <laughs> well, I'm not going to use any of that footage, am I? <laughs> well, still, I just think it'd be better to be a bit more careful. What do you think I'd do with the footage? I know, it's just that I don't want to upset you or anything, but you know, this isn't the first time I've done this. <laughs> yeah, you've, um, slept with one of your students before. So, I, I need to be sensitive to the situation, you know? I'm not going to share it. Why would I do that? No, I, I didn't mean... I didn't mean that. It's just... Look, I, I can't do this. Please, tell me what you think I'm going to do with the footage. I'm not saying that. Uh, look, Timothy, look, you look, told look, me that you were trying... Alright, alright, alright. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't... I wasn't trying to be rude to you. I'm sorry. I just got stressed. 
wanted some support. Yeah, okay. I'll forgive me. Some very interesting footage has come over. What? I'm starting to think maybe it's the effect of energy. Like perhaps the participants' vulnerability and their negative environments are creating a physical force. <laughs> I haven't quite reached the stage of accepting that it's a poltergeist yet. My own footage has been minimal. If anything, it's just showcasing how much of a dick Timothy can be. But um, there is this clip. Well, it could have been Timothy moving around during the argument, but well, I'm confident it can't be him. I'm, I'm not stupid. I know the mind plays tricks constantly. But there's something about the shadow. It seems familiar. Okay, so this just came in the post. Um, it's a box of chocolates and a card addressed to me, but there's nothing in the card. Um, it's not just any chocolates, it's my dad's favourite chocolates, actually. Yeah, so... It's a bit weird. I mean, I don't think it's anyone playing a prank. I mean, what would be the point in that? But yeah, anyway, I'm going to review the footage and see if there's anything I might have missed. <sighs> okay. This figure has been in nearly every shot. How the hell did I miss this? I think something's happening. Hello? I'm in here. <laughs> You've been busy. I think something's happening. Happening? I, I caught something on camera. Uh, what do you mean? Look. I don't see anything. What? What about these? I think that's just a reflection of me, isn't it? There's definitely something in these photographs. Look at that space there. Oh, really, I can't see anything. We're not supposed to be looking for ghosts here, you know, Rebecca. I, I, I'm sure something is, is happening. I, I can't explain this. But I can. You're getting wrapped up in the experiment. You've seen how some of these vulnerable people have been influenced by this. I don't know. This... This isn't normal. Something more to it. I, I don't know. Look, I, I suspect you're feeling vulnerable with the, the funeral so soon. Wait. Wait, there was something else. <laughs> What's this? What well, came in the post? Chocolates? Well, yeah, but my dad's favourite. Someone's sending you chocolates to my house. <laughs> Isn't this our house? Yes. Uh, what did I say? Look, it doesn't matter. I, I just feel that something's happening. I'm not saying it's ghosts, but this isn't normal. Yeah, but it is. Rebecca, you've seen what's happened to your participants where they're vulnerable. They're starting to believe these things themselves. And now you are. Look, maybe it's best to end the experiment. Uh, how is that the best thing to do? I'm, I'm getting real results. No, you're, you're, you're seeing how people are being affected. We're getting mass hysteria here. You've seen how the other people have been affected, and now you are. You can collect your data. You've got information. End it. Good thing you don't teach me anymore. 
And that's a low blow. Oh, is it? I'm getting something that could be real proof and you patronise me. I'm trying to keep you focused. <laughs> Look, this is what happens with your participants. They're vulnerable. And, and maybe you are a little bit at the moment as well. Look, I don't want to have an argument about all this. It's a stupid experiment. Maybe I'll just go out for a bit. You don't need to leave. Look, we can talk this through. Look, no, I'll... I'll, I'll just need a drink. Please, I don't want to be alone on this. Well, I just need a drink alone, OK? Isn't that how you met me? We had a big argument. And... Timothy made it clear that he doesn't want me to keep going with the experiment. But I've got to see it through. I really feel like I'm onto something and I don't know, I... I feel like something's trying to connect with me. I want to see what happens next. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna continue with the experiment. Hello? I don't know what happened with the camera, um, I really hope it caught, I hope it caught that he was here, he was right here, it was my dad, he was here, I saw him, I saw it with my own eyes, it wasn't just a picture, I, after you keep I'm going to keep going with this. Is there a spirit here with me now? Do I know the spirit? Dad, is it you? What are you doing? Nothing. Looks like you've lost your mind a bit. I'm not the one who's just come home at 10am, still drunk. So what? I was wrong, it is my home. I don't need all this going on here. I had it all with Fiona. I don't need it with you as well, Rebecca. I'm sorry. Is that a Ouija board on my floor? I saw him. Who? My dad. He was sitting right there. Well, he's dead, okay? Uh, that 
that's fucking cool. I'm sorry, I don't care anymore. It's just, just, I need this experiment over. What am I supposed to do? Document it in the street? I don't care. I just need it gone, out of my house. Don't you mean me? What? Don't you mean you want me out of the house? Well, right now it wouldn't hurt, I don't think. You fucking pig. No, it's gone too far. I just don't need this going on. What with your funeral and the experiment, it's all got too much. I'm sorry, this is what happens when you're in a relationship and not just fucking every class brick. Just go, Did please. You hear that? What? I heard him. No, this is just getting ridiculous. No more, alright? If you won't leave, then I will. But, but you can pack up and, and get out by the time I've got back, okay? But you just said that we needed a break. I just, just go, all right? Tim, Timothy. I, I don't want to hear that you were right right now, Mom. Okay. I, I just, I, I need to know that I can come and stay for a little while, and because he's a drunk and he thinks that I'm crazy. My experiment, I, I found something that I didn't expect and look mum, can we just, can we just talk about it when I'm home please? Please mum, I, I saw dad, okay? <coughs> Hello? <coughs> Hello? Ambulance! Ambulance! Ambulance now! Quickly! Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> 